Why hello there people of the internet and today we're back with guess what? No, no, it's not Hearts of It's Hearts of Iron 4! Oh, but this isn't this isn't the usual Hearts of Iron 4 that you you're used to from me. So strap in, prepare your hey <laughs> news and buy a Belgians are not just for Christmas shirt. Available now, links links down below. Please buy one. I I need to afford antidepressants. Well this this isn't how Europe looked in World War Two. This isn't what it looked like at all! Well yes, eagle-eyed viewer, you know exactly what a map looks like from all those hours staring at map games. This is the Kaiserreich mod, which has interesting new nations and an interesting new scenario. Well yes, what if Germany won World War One? Well, there's a lot of lore behind this mod and if you want to find out more, go to www.getwreckedyoufuckingidiotnerdnoonecares.com well, as you can see, if Germany did win World War One, they'd take a bit of France, or you know, give Belgium a bit of its own lesson and cut a bit of his hand off. Britain, in a surprising turn of events, is instead not a United Kingdom but a Union of Britain, ruled by this cool guy. Huh? The once great empire that led many cultural revolutions, such as the invention of the toast sandwich, has fallen. The British royal family, under the collapse of British society from the invention of the toast sandwich, fled to Canada, where Canada being Canada, decided to flip to a liberal shithole still. But hey, some things just can't be changed. But today I'm going to be playing as an important nation. A very important nation ruled by someone called P- 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 Piss the 11th. So here we are in the land of Italy, once again actually, I think I've done another Hearts of Iron on this and it went surprisingly well. But once again we need to reboot the famous Italian war machine. I say famous, not that famous actually. Italy has a bunch of interesting traditions on the focus tree. I mean one of my favourite Italian type of ones is this one down here. The social welfare program. Hey, we're gonna need a lot of this, it's Italy. You also have the usual tech tree, nothing's changed here, we've got our famous sharpened sticks from back in when we invaded Ethiopia. We've got, you know, the famous Italian light tanks. They did this really well, yeah. Oh, we've got to start the war machine, of course. Definitely don't want to forget about that one. Oh, of course, let's build a navy. Come on, civilians, stop sitting around eating pizza at the Tower of Pizza. <laughs> I've got some very bad news. It appears the Kingdom of Afghanistan has declared war on the Dominion. Who fucking gives a shit? I will give this mod a little bit of a little bit of leeway because it is an alpha 0.1, but I have noticed a very glaring issue in this tree. Uh, yes, to do some of these, I need to be at war with Bhutan. As you know, it is a very big part of Italian cultural identity to be at war with Bhutan at all times. Maybe I need to do a video on this explaining this. Or maybe the mod just needs to, you know, be fucking fixed. Come on, guys, you had one fucking job. But for now, we're just going to work on doing that good old-fashioned Italian tradition of meddling everyone else's business whilst pretending to be relevant. Fuck you, Bhutan. I'm seizing the pizzas of production. Oh dear, oh dear, it appears in another amazing series of, uh, of events that the mod click has declared war on Tibet and Mongolia. Two very, very important countries that I really care a lot about. No, not at all. Oh, oh no. Who could have seen this coming, Afghanistan? No, not me. It's a, it's a real sad day today, guys. Pope, Pope, Pius, 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 Pius has died, and uh, this guy's got some really funky glasses. Yeah. I, well, you know, Pope Pius dies, this guy's got some cool glasses. Things could be worse. Some good news now that Pope Piss has died is that we get to elect a new guy, and I think I know just the right person for it. Alar Dalar Costa, as Stephen the the twelfth. Yeah, that'd be great. Also, he's a big fan of soup kitchens, so you know, good with me. Oh, oh, I've just noticed something quite cool. We can create the Holy League. Let's go create a big, big bunch of crazy, crazy Catholics. Brazil have done the unthinkable and elected a white guy in a communist society. This is how things get genocided, alright? Oh, look, you look away and there's a socialist revolution. I mean, I just turned my head for two. Who the fuck is this guy? Excuse me? 
you know, I think it's time for us to expand this Holy League, and who more, who's more important than Ireland to begin with? Who do you want bet? Yeah. Oh, hot news right off the press here. We've got some brand new spanking news from America. They're, 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 they're requesting more crazy, crazy religious nut jobs to go over there with guns. So, uh, you know, I can't say no to that. Why not? Also, America, yeah. Who, 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 it, what the fuck? Oh dear, you turn away for like five minutes and America's splintered into even more factions. Look, it's, it's, oh god, that flag is disgust. Good news, Ireland's joining the crazy band of religious nutjobs. Bad news for Russia, they just declared another war when they're at war with, you know, all of this, everything, and S Siberian Empire? Yeah. You know, I'm not quite sure how much of how much help Russia would really be in this situation, so we're just gonna go for Greece. Okay, who forgot to tell me that Pope Elidalalalaglu Costa is a fucking vampire? After all the social welfare that I was gonna give you, Greece, come on. How rude. Oh, it appears that Korea has had enough of being ruled by the Japanese and instead broke free under the rule of Hurry 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 Hurry. <laughs> oh, it looks... I'm very sorry, Mr. Dracula, but we're, we're gonna have to get rid of you. Get someone a bit more German on the throne. You know, just a bit German. Oh, a surprise in events. The Balkans are at war with each other. Oh, it looks like the Jews heard about my social welfare program and they're, they're flocking to me. Look at them. It's like a... It's like a Jew... Ju no, no, can't say that. Oh dear, it appears that China once again is at war with itself, and this time by the National Protection Alliance, which sounds like a fucking bank or insurance scam. Uh oh, Kurdistan's broke free quickly. No, anybody's Turkish. Quickly look. Please don't dislike the video, Turkish. Oh god, he's already disliked. They, there you go, Turkey. He's gone. Quickly like the video. Like it quickly. Oh look, South Africa's at war with others. Sudatuka. Nobody cares. China is slowly devolving into a bit of a tumorous mess, but good on you, Tibet. Not very peaceful, though. Oh, come join Catholicism and murder the world. Oh, I forgot to invade countries. So, well, I guess I'll just take Spain over for now. You know, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention, and they capitulated. That was easy. Oh, it appears that the Liberals in Canada, ruled by the royal family, have had enough of fake Britain's toast sandwiches. Time to strike all the Frenchies a week, I think. Also a bit weird that the Communists are actually in the south part of Italy, known for where all the mobsters are. And once again, I wasn't even recording of France capitulated, but look at all those dead Frenchies. That's quite the KD, if I do say so myself. I just noticed my Navy XP went all the way to 500, and I was a bit suspicious that Britain has apparently been fueling their ships by toast sandwiches, because they sunk pretty easy. Oh fuck, I've actually landed. It's time to reclaim toast, sandwiches, and then combine them together for a toast sandwich. And once again, that was pretty easy. Honest, well, don't look at all the god. Don't look at all the dead people on the map, please. Well, despite losing quite a lot of manpower there at the end, <laughs> don't, don't, I didn't do that. Me, a bad, bad at hearts. Mine four. No, don't, don't pay attention. I actually managed to invade England and release them as the UK, but I did, I did manage to lose quite a few hundred thousand Italians. But we'll just put that down to the Italian incompetence. As you can see by the rest of the world, everything's Siberian Emp- uh, Well, at least it's not the greater Chechnya we all know and love. Everything else, though, not much has changed. Bhutan got mutilated, Nepal's a thing. Uh, Italy owns France. Germany's not done fuck all, but they, you know, this, this isn't about them. They already won World War One. This is about winning World War Two. But most importantly, this guy's still got his cool fucking glasses. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, give me a suggestion on who to play as next in the Kaiserreich mod. There is a world of potential out there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to buy a Belgians and not just for Christmas t-shirt, the link is down below. Check it out. Hey, I've still got the Belgians, Belgian Lives Matter t-shirts as well. I'll slam them in there. Guys, it's a Christmas fire sale. Get your uncle on. Get, get your uncle who touched you on. Get your uncle who also touched you on and 
don't get that other uncle one though, because he didn't touch you, and that's just not cool. Fucking pedo, Pete.